So it's been a while and a lot has happened. So here, let me fill you in. Dude, so much has happened over the past few months, over the past, I guess, six months, and I'm here to fill you guys in on everything that's been going on because you guys have been following us and watching us from the beginning for when we got the bus, and it's really exciting. I just feel like this sense of guilt of like leaving you guys hanging, and I don't wanna do that because you guys, I wouldn't be in the spot that I am today without you guys watching these videos, and I really, really appreciate that. That being said, I'm going to start making videos again. We have so much exciting things happening in our lives that, and I'm just trying to figure out how to spread my attention between family and work and alone time with Emily and alone time with the kids and alone time with myself and figuring out, you know, just this whole game of life. But, so I, I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being patient on this video coming out. So the last time I consistently made a video, I said we were going to take a vacation to Florida and we did that and it was freaking awesome. Um, we left around December 20th and went from here to Charleston, South Carolina. And then from then, we drove the entire coast of Florida all the way down to the Keys, back up, up into Panama City. And then from Panama, we went back up into Nashville. And we did that over like 60, 70 days. And it was really, really nice just to be able to drive around and, ex and experience bus life and use this space that we developed for our family and to just kind of spend time together. And it's every bit of what I hoped it was. Uh, we parked on the beach, we slept on the beach a couple times, we stayed in Home Depot parking lots, we stayed in Cracker Ball parking lots, we had somebody climb on the roof of our bus in Naples, Florida, and people loved the bus, people got really uh, curious about the bus, and it was just like, just made me feel good. So after we did Florida, um, we kind of came back into Nashville and started getting into a routine. I'm actually now doing bus conversions. Like I am now a schoolie builder and I've got one bus that I'm uh, currently working on, another bus in line, and I've helped out a couple different people with their little buses. Um, it's kind of funny, like, as you guys know, or you're probably going to find out, Schoolie Builds, there's a lot to it. There's just so many different avenues and things that you have to know and learn and educate and try to make sure you're doing right. And it gets very overwhelming, and I totally understand that. And it's, it's interesting because the clients that I've helped, they've started Bus Builds, and either just get overwhelmed or tied up with life or don't see the vision anymore, but they still want to pursue this dream. They still want to do bus life and, and schoolies and travel and, and build their own tiny home. Um, and it's really neat because I'm able to provide that for them. So like I can come in and do some things and they start getting, you can see like this uh, sense of satisfaction and excitement coming back into their eyes. Like, the, hey, this is attainable. This is a reality, like we can do this. Of course that's gonna happen. So that's what the majority of my clients have been so far. So that being said, I'm now doing full school bus conversions. Um, I've got my first employee that's gonna start in like two weeks and figuring out this whole business licensing things and yeah, how to do stuff the proper way. 
So a lot more schooly content is to come. I guarantee you on that one. So that being said, one of my clients um, ended up just being super, super generous and has now turned into a great friend. So much so that let me just show you. So here we are in my bus. So we're not living in the bus currently, but we will be probably within the next two or three weeks is what I'm projecting, which I'm super excited about because I just love this space, man. It's just nice and I, I made it and it just feels like home. And then we walk outside. And there's one of my client's buses. So his bus is about a third of the way finished and we decided to go and hold on it for a second. He's got a lot of different things going on and I've got a lot of different things going on. So we will continue to work on this at, uh, bit by bit, but this is not the main project right now. But the really cool part about it and why I love schoolies and bus life and it just brought us together because of something that we can relate about. So much so that he believes in our vision and what Emily and I want to do and what our goals are. So and he was generous enough that when he bought this property, he allowed us to park our bus there. We'll park another client's bus here and another client's bus here and use this shop. And I'm just flabbergasted that he was so generous to let us park here and do this stuff and be a part in the project that we're working on. And yeah, I'm super, super pumped and excited about it. Yeah, this is the farm that we're gonna be staying on, doing bus builds on for the next few months. And I'm super, super thankful and I'm just excited, man. Like, I just didn't think that this was gonna play out. Bus life is like, in no way, shape, or form what I ever thought it would be. Like, our bus life isn't very cliche. Like, we don't travel around and post school pictures and stuff. Um, I built a school bus that took me two years, and I've slept in it like, maybe a hundred times in the past year since it's been finished. Which I guess isn't terrible, but it's not great. It's not what I thought. Yeah, I'm building school buses now, and I'm super, super excited about it. So yeah, life has completely changed for us and I'm super thankful for it and super excited about what's to come in the future. Um, so that being said, I am doing school bus builds. I will need help and we are in Nashville, Tennessee currently. So yeah, I wanted to keep this short and simple and because if I didn't keep it short and simple, then I probably wouldn't make it. And I just felt like I was like leading you guys on for too long. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, uh, we'd really, really appreciate it, and yeah, we'll keep doing this thing. This place is tight. Just saying, my skills when we're driving this big thing. Definitely having to get upgraded real fast. But it's working. And it's freaking working.